Hi, I'm J.D. Hoovener, and welcome to The Bold Today Show, where you, the inventor, entrepreneur, and business owner, get your daily dose of inspiration to make the world a better place. We're in our blockchain theme, and what comes to mind when you have finally made the decision to invest a good chunk of money into the cryptocurrency of your choice, right? Think Bitcoin, Litecoin, some of these other, Ethereum, right? Well, of course, it's sort of this worry that, gosh, the whole thing's going to crash, or what's what else? That you might get hacked, okay? Hacking and security is a huge risk, right? You're sort of dealing with this currency you can't touch and feel. You can't just go down to the corner bank and take out some money if you want. You're relying on this system. And you got to be, you, if, you're, if you're not noticing the fact that there's a risk to hackers, you're not noticing at all and you're not paying attention. You can breathe a little easier uh, once we look at this patent of the day, all right? This patent right here is about, and there are many of these, that protect information on the blockchain. Okay, this is to prevent hackers from getting into the ledger and uh, basically reallocating uh, amounts, reconfiguring and trying to recreate this history, uh, fake history, to document it. This patent thwarts that and it constantly analyzes ledger entries and compares them to the same ledger entry a point in the future to make sure that those are validated and are the equivalent. So the history is still the history. <laughs> so no one else can come in there and change the ledger after the fact. Patents like these help me breathe easier and help us all feel better about incorporating a blockchain and a cryptocurrency strategy for our personal lives. I wanted to focus on a point about this application here and the patent, right? Is what I want to look at here in this part of the patent is on the first page. You can see the, the priority date is actually to a European EP. You see that in parentheses, European patent back in 2015. This was an international application, as many applications are, that then, after filing in the European country, uh, European Union, filed in the US. And they were able to get priority back to that early filing date that was done overseas. International applications usually take benefit of the Patent Cooperation Treaty. And we can check out more details about that in a future Bold Today show. I just wanted to let you know that it's important to get familiar with these aspects of a patent, of issued patent and an application so that you can do a search. In this area of technology, it's moving so quickly. Doing your own search is usually quite difficult, and it's usually beneficial to seek out a patent attorney to help you with the detailed patentability search because everything is changing so quickly. If you'd like our help, you know how to get a hold of us. The information will be at the end of this Bold Today show. So please share this information with anyone you have uh, might need it, and I hope you enjoyed this session today. Hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Go big, go bold. bold at boldip.com.